Notre Dame was your last competitive game. We have to draw upon anything from that game, or can you at this point, three weeks down the line? Yeah, it's a little bit of a concern. I mean, because this is Pitt's a football team that has been in two very competitive games that have gone on to, all the way down to the wire. Uh, our Notre Dame game was that way, and we had an awful lot of confidence, but that was a month ago. So uh, hopefully we can build on some of the things that we've done and understand as well, understand where we are to this point. We've, we've won four games, and nobody's gone to a bowl game or won a conference championship with four wins. And so hopefully we can look at it and say we still have a long way to go to get to where we want to be, and we've got to continue to build on it. And I think confidence in a close football game comes, as we've talked before, do you win and gain confidence, or do you gain confidence and win? And I, I was really pleased with the way we handled the Notre Dame situation and the poise our players showed in that game. Hopefully we can continue. That has continued on this football team as we move forward. One more. What about um, a short week? What are the challenges, the obstacles, and how do you overcome them? A lot of challenges. The, you know, one, you get done with your football game at 10.30 at night on Saturday night in a game that uh, really your, your first team played the, the entire game. You got done really late. We brought them back over here yesterday afternoon in shorts, tried to go out in shorts. We had lightning. Not only do we have short week, but we had lightning. Um, didn't want to just keep them around here waiting all day for the lightning to go away, so we ended up going into meetings and not getting on the field. We normally give them Monday off, so this is an academic day for our players, where our players have labs, night classes, we have classes all throughout the course of the day, since we normally give them Monday off. So we're, we are practicing at 10 o'clock tonight is when we're going to end up going out, because it's the only time that we can get our entire football team together to go out and play. Now, fortunately, at 10 o'clock on Thursday night, we'll still, be, we'll still be playing a football game. So it's not like we have to kick off at 8 a.m. and we're keeping them up late during the week. So having one day of practice really being today where you can put on pads, losing yesterday on the field, having the short week, Wednesday is a travel day. Uh, so you're, you're losing another day by traveling up there. So there, it's going to pose some challenges, and it's going to challenge our football team to turn. We've got to make – we're not going to have that much time on the field. We've got to make the most of the time that we do have there. We also have to be smart as coaches with what we're asking our players to do. We need to make sure that we're not trying to add too many wrinkles to go into this football game and that we can go out and execute the things that we are trying to, to put in. See, if Saturday night you had mentioned with, with kind of the, the troubles on special teams, you might look at revisit bringing starters back on that mm -hmm. dirty dozen unit. Do, do you know if, if you want to go in that direction or if you want to try and stick with the guys you have? We're going to meet this afternoon before we go out tonight and talk quite a bit more about it. There's you know, a guy like Jenkins was a special teams player. A guy like uh, Joel Miller was a special teams player. We had a lot of guys on there early that because of injuries, people have been taken, taken off of it because of their injuries. Or when a starter gets injured and a backup goes up and all of a sudden they're playing 30 plays, on defense, do you want to turn and leave them on all your special teams? So it's kind of that consistency we talked about. And we've got to look at how do we get a guy like Joel Miller back in the mix? How do we get some of our better players? I, I do think that we will incorporate some more of our starters into special teams. I think we're going to have to with where we are. I think a lot of them are asking to be put on it, uh, especially if you're on the defensive side of the ball and you're running out there to start at midfield every time. It's like, coach. Put me on the kickoff team. I mean, it's another play of defense. Let me let me go out there and play on the kickoff team. And if in one play we can save 30 yards, we're better. We're a better defensive unit. There's statistics that prove your starting field position has everything to do with the points that you're going to score. And right now we're, we were we were unfair to our defense on Saturday night with the starting field position that we allowed UTEP to start with, especially off the kickoff. We, we were unfair to them. And so we'll revisit that. We'll visit with that, about that this afternoon before we make some decisions before we have to go out on the field tonight. Skip, at the end of the game there, they ended up punting. They ended up carrying the ball at the end of the game, but you had brought Landy out to, to return punts mm -hmm. when Terrence was out. W would he be the first option to, to field punts? Landy is, is, we call him fair catch Landy. I mean, <laughs> he, he catches the ball. And that's when you're looking at a backup uh, punt returner, the one thing you want to make sure you can do is secure the ball. And so Evan is, we just trust Evan with so many things because he's so accountable, reliable, and dependable, and he does everything just it's like he does everything the right way. <laughs> so he's been back there catching punts all camp, 
Uh, he goes back there every day and catches punts in the first, the first five minutes of specialty period. He's done a great job. And there are some other guys that we have to look at. Um, Victor Mark is a guy that we have talked about. Uh, Andre Davis is a guy that we have talked about. Bravo Brown is a guy. Those guys have all been catching punts all during camp. But Evan was the guy that I felt the most comfortable with. So we'll evaluate that this week and make some decisions on who we're going to put back there as our punt returner.